creepy. Crawly. Amazing. Welcome to Backyard Bug Guy. Skittering around in the damp, cool undergrowth of the forest floor, or even your own backyard, perhaps under a rock or the bark of a fallen tree, we find a familiar looking insect. But what at first looks like a silverfish is something much more peculiar. Huge compound eyes, a long bristly tail, and a mouth right out of a horror movie. This is Archaeognatha, or Jumping Bristletail. They are some of the most ancient life forms on Earth, appearing in the fossil record around the middle of the Devonian period, when primitive arachnids started to appear as well, remaining relatively unchanged for hundreds of millions of years. The name Archaeognatha is derived from the Greek words for ancient and jaw, as their giant mouth parts called maxillary palps have hand-like dexterity. These hand-like mouth parts give them a truly horrific appearance, like a creature that jumped straight out of a Lovecraftian nightmare. <laughs> oh, and speaking of jumping, they jump. They jump far. Whoa. Where'd he go? Many times their own body length up to 30 centimeters or one foot in the air. They do this by flexing their extremely powerful abdominal muscles, taking off with incredible speeds to potentially escape an attacking predator or a dangerous situation. However horrific they may appear, bristletails are actually very peaceful creatures and serve the role of detrivores combing through the leaf litter for decaying organic matter. Their mouth parts are framed by two very long antennae, which help them find their food. Their finger-like maxillary palps position the food as they eat. Their mandibles are very simple, containing one condyle attachment, which is a knuckle-like bony joint, whereas other insects have two condyle attachments and can bite and chew more effectively. They have five eyes in total, two very large compound eyes, which give them surprisingly good vision, and three very simple eyes called ocelli, which help them in detecting different amounts of light in their surrounding area, as they prefer to live where it is darker and damp. The body of the jumping bristletail has a distinctive hump on its back, giving them a hunched or squat look. Being low to the ground helps them absorb surrounding moisture through their thin, scaly exoskeleton. Their scales readily detach from their body, helping them escape from predators. Their coloration can vary from dark browns and grays to even sandy or yellowish, perfectly camouflaging into their surroundings. And the bristly tails? Well, they aren't tails at all. The large central tail is called a terminal filament, and it is part of their reproductive system. The other two smaller parts are sensory organs called circe, which act like antennae, and assist them in jumping and landing. Just when you thought this creature could not get any stranger, their courtship involves a dance performed by the male. Once he sees a female, he will spin a long thread, placing packages of sperm along it, called spermatophores. He will then perform a series of intricate courtship dances to win her approval. If she is accepting, she will pick up his spermatophore and begin pregnancy, where she will lay a cluster of around 30 eggs in a suitable location. Young bristletails then hatch, looking like small versions of the adults, molting many times over their lifetime, and even through adulthood. A bristletail will take up to two years to sexually mature, 
and can live four years or longer, which is much longer than most large insects, proving sometimes big and wondrous things come in small packages. These little explorers of the dark are truly one of my favorite insects to bug out over. If you have any insects you bug out for, please leave them in the comments down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.